Well, the fate of Line 5 is uncertain right now. The 70-year-old pipeline runs through the middle of the state and was the center of debate today inside a Cincinnati courtroom. At issue is whether the federal or state court should hear Michigan's argument to have the Canadian-owned pipeline shut down. Local 4 investigator Karen Drew has done in-depth reporting on Line 5 and has today's developments. Well, this has been a five-year battle so far. Today, a federal judge heard arguments on both sides of the issue over where the Line 5 case should be heard. I spoke with State Attorney General Dana Nessel this morning as a crowd in favor of keeping the case here in Michigan was gathering outside the federal courthouse. We have people today, let's hear you in the back, from Traverse City. We got people who came down today from Detroit. Yeah! Yeah! Attorney General Nessel standing up to Big Oil, standing up to Enbridge. This is ours. We elected Dana Nessel to take this to court for us. Attorney General Dana Nessel says the shutdown of Line 5 is a Michigan issue. This is a violation of public trust. It's a public nuisance. It violates the Michigan Environmental Protection Act. Those are all state laws. Concerns over Line 5's passage through the Straits of Mackinac led the state to issue a shutdown order. That was in 2019. Enbridge ignored the shutdown order, so AG Nessel filed suit in state court. But more than a year into the case, Enbridge had it moved to federal court and Nessel appealed. Today, both sides made their arguments to a federal appeals court judge. And in the event that we're not successful, I don't know what the point is of us having state courts and state laws in the first place if everything could just be litigated in federal court instead. In a statement emailed this morning, an Enbridge spokesperson said it is confident that ultimately the Sixth Circuit Court will agree with the lower court's decision that this dispute, which has generated a U.S. foreign policy controversy, properly belongs in federal court. The company added it is investing in renewables, developing cleaner oil and gas solutions, and transporting and delivering these energy resources safely and sustainably. All you need to do is go to Click on Detroit to read the full response from Enbridge. Attorney General Nessel said it could take months before the federal court's decision is issued. She's hoping she can pick up where she left off in state court. Also, to get you caught up on the history of the pipeline, the problems it has had, as well as a behind-the-scenes look at how Line 5 is monitored and repaired, we are re-airing our special tonight on Local 4 Plus at 9.30. Back to you guys. Okay, Karen, thank you.